How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Remnant 2 video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about a couple of things. The first, we're going to be talking about how to get the Sparkfire Shotgun. This is the ritualist specific weapon that applies burning whenever you shoot the enemy. It's a really solid shotgun for applying statuses, so you definitely want to pick this up. Secondly, we need to talk about how to spawn the Derelict Lighthouse. I've seen a lot of people on post commenting about how they're having a very hard time to get it or spending all day spawning it. I'm going to show you how I spawned it. And then lastly, I'm going to show you the route that I run while we explain everything. With that said, don't want to waste too much more time. Let's dive right on into it. So the first thing we need to establish when it comes to the Derelict Lighthouse is I ran this entire DLC, I believe at this point, about 25 times. I love testing things. I want to make sure that I get the right information. So I do run it quite a bit. In my testing, I've only ever seen the Derelict Lighthouse spawn in one specific place, which you see on the map. This is the only time I've ever seen it. In the limited times that it has spawned for me, I only have ever seen it in the location that you see on screen. So in my opinion, or at least from what I can tell, this is the only place it will spawn. Again, if you guys have other experiences, let me know, but this is the only time I've ever seen it anywhere. The other thing I want to point out is whenever I did those 25 runs, about 17 of those were on the lowest difficulty, I believe Survivor. And whenever I did it, not a single time, not once, has it ever spawned at all. Now, whenever I tested it on the next difficulty, I believe Veteran, I got it three times out of the seven times in that exact location. So if you're having a very hard time trying to get the uh, derelict lighthouse to spawn is very likely tied to the difficulty again i very well could have gotten very unlucky and then like out of 17 i just straight up didn't get it and i was unlucky but i don't believe so again if you have other experiences let me know and maybe we can talk about it but again i only ever seen it when i spawned on veteran or higher whenever i did a new world now i'm not talking about the one shot playthrough guys because i know in the one shot playthrough you can adjust the difficulty but for anything beyond the one shot playthrough it was only ever on veteran. Now that that's done, I'm gonna show you exactly how to get the spark fire shotgun in the event that you actually need to get it. So first off, you need to get to the derelict lighthouse and you're specifically looking for two mini bosses. These two mini bosses is typically at this large warehouse. So you need to face off and kill them. They're not particularly difficult to beat, but uh, if you can split them like I did here, it'll make it much easier if you're having a hard time. From there, you need to go into your inventory and inspect the key and then twirl it around until you get the like, indicator to basically inspect it and do stuff and that's going to transform the key into a different version of the key in which you have to use to unlock the basement rather than unlocking the top but if you're doing it like we're doing it in this video you can get the spark fire shotgun by going to the basement you're going to take the path to the left here and then open the door and just like that you have access to spark fire shotgun it has built-in burning and it has an empty mod slot and an empty mutator slot which is pretty insane considering it just straight up apply burns which is really good for the ritualist class anyway that's gonna be it for this video if this video helped you out in any way leave me a like as well as subscribe to help support the channel and i'll see you guys in the next video very soon later